Well, I saw what happened with Bat Kid um, the day it happened, and I was really interested to know why so many people came out for just a little boy's wish. Um, and then when I found out that they only wanted 200 people to show up, and then 25,000 people showed up and 2 billion people followed it online, I really wanted to know why that nerve was struck. What Dana did, she spent six months going back and doing what I call like the emotional archaeology of like going back and find out how did this happen, who was behind it, you know, going and spending like, you know, a week or two at the farm with the family and and uh, really getting to know them and really capturing just their life. And I knew obviously about Make-A-Wish and I knew that Make-A-Wish did wishes all the time. I didn't know actually how many they do. The Bay Area chapter does more than 300 a year. Uh, so, you know, when, when I learned more about it, I thought, it made me even more intrigued because I was like, why this wish? Why this boy? This is this is a real life Frank Capra movie. This is it's a wonderful life with real people. I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm in. <laughs> that's 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 my that's totally my kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, I saw the opportunity to just you know be involved in telling a really wonderful positive story that also happens to be true, and that doesn't uh, you don't get that opportunity very often. You know, there are not many stories like this. Unfortunately, in the world, it's mostly bad news. Oh, this one is, uh, this documentary is very different from the others that I have done. Most of my other work has been very dark and serious. And um, one of my films was about wrongful conviction. One of them was about responses to terrorism. And one of them was about uh, toxic chemicals that are in all of our products that are hurting us. Um, and so I was looking for something lighter to do. I was looking for something that my kids would really like to engage in and maybe help me make a little bit and would want to watch. Uh, so I was looking for something much lighter and more fun. And boy, was it much more fun to work on. Um, you know, I still will go back and do uh, the hard topics as well, but I think it really was a nice um, break from that. And, you know, when you watch the movie, I think, and when we were working on the movie, you just are smiling all the time because it's such a positive, happy feeling. And so just like working on anything that's positive and happy, it was it was a joy. That's, I think, one of the main positive positive aspects about the, the existence of this film is that people see it and then they they want to they want to go do what they saw the people in the film do they want to go volunteer they want to go do something for people and that's what's great because that's the whole idea like when uh, we talked before but Mike Jutan who played the penguin in the film has my favorite line he says it's kind of odd this doesn't happen more and a story like this being told like this is a catalyst that could potentially help it happen more because people get that seed in their mind. They say, wow, these people at Make-A-Wish are awesome. Maybe I should volunteer, or if not for Make-A-Wish, for something else. But it just gets them wanting to to connect with other people and do something positive. And I think that's a, as good a reason for the existence of the film as any. So, <laughs> yeah. I think what made this event big um, were a few major elements. One, that it was happening in San Francisco, that it was a public wish, because most of their wishes are not public. Uh, a, a child goes to Disneyland, or they go get a spending spree at Toys R Us, or they have a party for their friends. But this one lent itself to people showing up. And I think the fact that it was in San Francisco, people are so whimsical and fun and creative in San Francisco, and people just wanted to experience it themselves a little bit. You know, it was kind of a wish for everybody. And so I think all of that kind of um, came together as this perfect storm. That and the fact that everyone had, most people there had smartphones where they could take an image and beam it out very quickly. And so I think that's what got the whole world engaged in it, that kind of um, interactive part of it. Well, it's when you see how hard everybody worked and went the extra mile when they didn't have to. You know, that like, EJ said the costume's got to be perfect because Miles is going to be looking at me. He's got to believe I'm Batman or that Mike Jutan as the Penguin was trying to go this extra mile or, you know, just everyone was always going a step beyond what they had to because they just wanted to make the day that much better. Uh, and that's what you can't see from a news report, but you can see from this movie is just the people behind it and w that they didn't just, okay, yeah, sure, I'll show up for a little while and have a nice day. They, they were really like... How can we do this the best it can possibly be done? And the more you know the people, the more you smile because they're just such awesome people that you want to be around. Um, and it, it just, it's a very, um, it makes you, like as Mike the Penguin says, you know, we have to plus up this situation. You, you know, it makes you want to plus up your life all the time by watching it and hanging out with people like that. In helping him to live this dream, we were saving ourselves.